Stampers, my name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today I want to talk about maximizing the use of your designer series paper and cutting it. And I want you to think about it perhaps a little differently. This is a piece of a designer series paper that came out right at the beginning of last year's catalog and it's part of the Share What You Love suite. This piece of paper is 12 by 12. And I know some of you just hate cutting into it, <laughs> but I want to talk about how to maximize the use of the paper to get the most out of it. This cut that I made here is four inches wide. And if you cut your paper four inches, four inches, and four inches, then you're going to get three cuts along the top of the paper. Now, if you cut this paper to be four by five and a quarter, which would normally layer on the front of a card here, you're going to get six, three across the top and three across the bottom here, uh, sheets out of one piece of designer series paper. That certainly with a sentiment and some ribbon and you know a, a little embellishment in one of these colors would make a lovely fast and beautiful card for instance. But I want you to think in terms of that is the most I'll ever cut is a four inch strip out of my paper. What happens then if you cut a three inch strip. Now what I've done here is I have cut a four inch strip, a three inch strip, and a two inch strip. So if you were to cut this so that you got cards that use this size of a piece of paper, you would get six cuts from this paper. Now if you trimmed your paper to three inches here instead, and you made it four inches long, then you would get three, six, nine, 12 pieces of paper here. So you'd be able to come across here four times. And then you, if you made your paper four inches, then you would get four, eight, 12. You would get 12 pieces of paper this size. Now, if you go to the extreme and cut these at two inches, you can really get two inches by four, gets you six cuts across this way and three down this way, six, 12, 18. That's a, a little bit of a thought process on how to cut the pieces of paper. Now, when I cut this one that was four by five and a quarter, I was left with this nice long additional piece here. And there's lots of things you can do with this. This cut in half is nearly seven inches. So you'd get a little, little under three and a half inches if you just slice this in half. But what I want to show you is this. By just backing this little piece of paper, which is two inches by four inches, onto a piece of additional cardstock, let's take that card base I had here a minute ago and see what happens if you place this on the front of your card. Now this doesn't give us much contrast, so we'll use, let's see, I think I've got a full piece cut here. Yes. So. If we were to put this on the front of a piece of card that picked up the other color here, you could tilt it to one side, you could put it above here and put your sentiment down here, um, you could band the card this way and put a sentiment and ribbon and some, some other embellishments down here. There's quite a bit you can do with a two by four inch. But then I want to show you what happens if, let's say we take this piece of paper, which is in the contrasting color, and this was two by four, so I cut this one two and a quarter by four and a quarter. 
So I'm going to cut this one two and a half by four and a half. And very quickly you can see that now we've got the ability to layer three times and now our piece of paper has gone quite a ways to filling up a card front. Let's bring back in that old olive card front. Now we've got a more substantial piece on here. And so it's pretty easy to stretch your paper by thinking of it in four, three, and two inch strips backed by interesting pieces of card <laughs> in a different color. And we could even carry that further by putting this one is four by five and a quarter. And then if we were to put this piece on here, we've created a beautiful focal point and you could do some tone on tone stamping back here. You could wrap ribbon around this and you could see that even a two inch by four inch strip of paper can turn into a pretty nice card. So there's no need really to use up a whole piece that is four inches by five and a quarter when you can get a similar effect by layering different pieces here. This one is three inches by four and that also makes a lovely card. That could be tilted with a message across here. There's a million things you can do. So what I want you to think about is the cuts that you make from your designer series paper. Four inch strips and that will give you four by five and a quarter will give you two, four, six cuts. Three by four will give you 12 cuts and two inches by four inches will give you 18 cuts. And that makes your paper go a lot further. You could turn a designer series paper into a one sheet wonder by just cutting four, three, two, and two, and you'd still have some strips left over to decorate the inside of your card. So um, just a tip to think about how you're cutting your designer series paper and whether or not you need giant pieces or whether you can make do with smaller pieces and stretch your designer series paper out a little bit to get more value for your money. Just a quick tip and I hope you found that useful and I'll be back with more cards, more projects, and more tips. Bye!